All right, what's going on, people? This is my first attempt at a vlog, so bear with me. It's about 8 a.m. Uh, I'm at the Billy Bishop Airport in Toronto, and I'm headed to New York for a special photo project. I'll get into more about that a little bit later, but yeah, man, we're just gonna see how this goes. At this time, you should be comfortably seated with your seatbelt fastened, tray table secured, and your hand luggage safely stowed. All right, check it out. Made it to Newark. And next stop is Manhattan. But um, I'm taking the air train. Having a little bit of an adventure today. Normally I hop in an Uber from JFK, but flew into Newark today, so we're gonna see how this goes. Got out at Penn Station. I'm gonna try and make my way to the hotel, check in, and then next stop is the High Line for a site visit. So we're gonna get into it soon. But yo, I'm back, New York, let's get it. All right, so I finally made it to the hotel. I'm in downtown New York, Manhattan, uh, specifically the Chelsea neighborhood. And we're real close to the High Line, and that's actually who brought me to New York. I'm working on a photo project with them and their programming staff to develop a photo walk for some young students in the neighborhood. So I got a meeting in about 45 minutes. I'm going to bring you guys with me, and we're going to go check out what the High Line's all about. Okay, so I thought we were going to the High Line, but it looks like we got to make a quick trip to Brooklyn to pick up some equipment. So I guess come along for the ride, and we'll head to the High Line after this. All right, so I couldn't do a photo walk without supporting the locals, and I came all the way to Brooklyn to hit up the one and only photo dom. Let's do this properly. Boom. There we go. We're going to rent some cameras, buy some film, and uh, yeah, turn this into something for the photo walk for the kids. Okay, so Photodom hooked us up with some really dope vintage Polaroid cameras and film, so we'll use that in tomorrow's walk, but let's try and get through this traffic and head back to the High Line for our site visit. Okay, it's official. We made it to the High Line. Um, I'm going to give you guys a quick tour of where the photo walk's going to be. I guess just follow me. You can probably see some kind of pink tree in the background there, but I'm going to give you guys a closer look. This is a featured artist on the High Line. They showcase a lot of different art uh, from around the world, so let's take a little bit of a walk. Okay, so we've pretty much made it to the end of the High Line, uh, but to be honest, this location is incredible. I'll probably want to start the photo walk here tomorrow. I'm exhausted, it's been an insanely long day. So I'm gonna head back to the hotel and relax, but I'll see you tomorrow morning. All right, good morning. It is day two in New York. I'm back at the High Line. I'm about to head up and get ready for this photo walk. But just to give you guys some context, I've got 20 young people from around the neighborhood who want to learn about photography and specifically street photography. So we're gonna jump into a bunch of lessons today and try and have some fun. Um, all right, well, first and foremost, thanks for showing up. I think it's super cool you guys have a program that allows you to do activations like this and learn in your own um, neighborhood. I wanna just ask a quick question and see if anyone's ever actually used a camera before. Like you just like raise your hand if you have. Oh, almost everyone. Like digital cameras? Yeah. And anyone ever used a film camera? You've used film? Oh, amazing, okay, so you guys are already pros. So I guess what we'll do, we'll start with handing out the digital cameras. Um, so I've got five. Who wants to volunteer to be one of the first five shooters? Yeah. There's one for you. I turned it on. 
There's another one for you. <laughs> Anyone here? Yeah, go for it. I think that might be all of them for now, yeah. Okay, so we have a first challenge I want us to see if everyone can do together. Uh, you know how most of the time when you're taking a photo, even with your camera, it's like pretty much at your eye level, like just taking a picture where your eyes are? Um, that only provides us with one perspective. The first challenge is trying to understand the world around us from different perspectives. I want to take the next like 10, maybe 15 minutes to walk around just this area and see if you can shoot um, the same thing from like, let's say two to three different angles. Make sense? Is that cool? All right, so yeah, let's go do it for like 10, 15. Can I get everyone back here for like two seconds and we'll jump back into challenge number two. Oh, Melissa. Sorry. Uh, my name is Brian Brock. I, Brian. Brock. Brock. Nice yeah, to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. I um, did a really quick book review on YouTube and I shouted your book out. And I th if you run your social media, you left a comment back. Oh, good. Yeah, okay. yeah. Well, thank you for thank that. You. And the thank episode you. you did with Polly was amazing. Yeah, Thanks. yeah. I'm actually doing like a street photography workshop right now for the at kids. All the cameras. Yeah. I thought that might be the case. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Have fun. So nice to meet you. Thank you for introducing Yeah, of course. Out. Take care. Um, okay, cool. Sorry, guys. I want to tell um, all of you what the next challenge is. So, you know how we're surrounded by buildings and architecture while we're up here? There's something called leading lines. See this like corridor of um, buildings? If you put one of you in the middle of that, it's gonna automatically make all the lines pointing to you, right? So the way you can use lines is to, to force the viewer to look at exactly what you wanna see in the photo. So each person maybe pair up and you can model for each other and then see like, yeah, how can we use lines to point to each other? Does that make sense? Okay, cool. Let's try and walk this way. You got it? <laughs> oh, if you guys want to try um, an experiment, I'll show you really quick. Come this way. So, see this line right here? If one of you want to stand at the end and then someone with the camera over here and you can literally come and shoot and use this line to lead the viewer right to your model. You understand? So yeah, any of you can jump in and Big try. Big tripod mark. Okay, and then so see this line right yeah. here? You want to actually get all the way down and have the lens basically touching and shooting up yet, yeah, but shooting up a little bit to her. Yeah, try that. And then take my book. Did everyone get a chance to try using lines yet for their photo? Alejandro, did you get a, a line? Did you get to try? Yeah, okay, good. Kyle, how about you? Yeah, okay. Um, okay, cool, so the next thing I wanna try, and some of you have already done it by accident, which is totally cool, but there's tons of natural light. So when we take photos of people, we want to understand where the light source is coming from. So today we want to figure out which direction the sun's coming from. And we want to take three different shots. One, facing the person. So we see like what the light looks on their face. One, where they're turned to the side. So the light's only hitting part of their face. And then I want to do a silhouette. Does everyone know what that is? when you're like blacked out and the light's coming from behind the person. So I want to do that. So the, the, once we'll move into the light, the next challenge will be shooting those three things. It's kind of hard though, because for the silhouette, it kind of just looks like a blob. Like... Oh, let me see. Wait, do you have an example? Oh, oh, you guys are taking shadows, which, which is also fine. But um, here, I'll try and show you what I mean. Okay, you know what? Can one of you stand right there? And then you can face me, it's fine. Oh! 
It makes sense? <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> now you know. How'd it work? I don't think I'm doing it right. Oh, that's okay. We, we can always figure it out. I think it should be fine. It looks Let's pretty see. much the same. It's like... Oh yeah, that's still a silhouette. It yeah, is. yeah, you got it. Thank you. Okay, great. Okay, so we got uh, one more challenge. Well, we got a lot of challenges, but the next one that's up um, might be a little more intimidating for everyone. It might be scary, but we're going to try and make it less scary. Has anyone ever taken photos of strangers? You have. Okay. So you know what's up. So everyone else, I'm assuming, has never done that before. Just our friends and our family, right? Or like if we're at an event or a party. Um, okay, so we're in the middle of New York. We're on one of the busiest uh, transit paths, the High Line. So there's a million people everywhere. It's an amazing opportunity to take photos of strangers without feeling like you're encroaching on someone's space or making them feel uncomfortable because most of the people on this path are trying to get somewhere. So they don't even have time to worry about you with your camera, right? So the first challenge is just getting out of your comfort zone and trying to take pictures of things that you might find interesting on the High Line. Sound good? All right, so let's walk this way on the High Line and see what shots we can get. How you feeling? I was trying to get those two girls sitting, but Ooh. they were looking at me and I got scared. Yeah, I got so scared, I panicked. That's okay. I wanted to save the best thing for last, so we actually have some old school Polaroid cameras that are like fully loaded, and we want you guys to be able to shoot with these. So whoever you feel comfortable with, I'd love each of you to pair up and do a portrait somewhere in this area. So you could use the horticulture and like the flowers and the trees in the background. You could use the view and check out the city, like some of the stuff we talked about today with leading lines. Or you could do some perspective stuff and someone could be like on the ground and someone up on the chair or the bench and shooting on all angles. But the way that it works for anyone that hasn't used Polaroid, once you click this button, you look through this little tiny viewfinder, believe it or not. And once you click this button, the Polaroid is going to print out you gotta hold it upside down for a little while for it to develop. Hey, Carlos, could I ask you for a favor? Could you do one group shot with this and then if you do your regular camera? Yeah, no problem. Thank you so much, man. I just wanted to say thank you for everyone to showing up today. It meant a lot for me to be able to come to New York and do this with y'all. Um, I also wanna thank the High Line, Ariel, Tanil, Pablo for even having me. This is like a new experience for you guys, so I'm really excited that we got to do this together. You guys feel like you learned at least one thing today? Maybe two things, three things, four things? Okay, good. So really, I just want you to go into the world after today knowing that you don't have to be, quote unquote, a professional photographer to take great shots, right? You can take photos with your friends, you can take photos with your family, but now you know how to take photos on the street. 